So would you spend your money on the brand new bell office? In this video I'm going to cover if it's worth it or not. Make sure to like and subscribe if this was helpful. Now before I do anything, I'm going to need to buy a bell office. There are several locations to choose from. There's four in the city and there's one in Polito Bay. Alright, so it's pretty obvious I don't have enough money, so let me fix that real quick. Alright, now that we got a couple million dollars, let's buy one of these things. Alright, for the video's purpose, I'm gonna buy everything except the gun locker. And I recommend you guys do not buy the gun locker, it's a waste of money. It's gonna cost you 4.6 million dollars. So, is it worth the money or not? Let's find out. After the 5 minute cutscene, we can finally start the bounties. So there's 4 different bounties to choose from, and I'm going with Omar Garcia because he pays the most. Now we have to go find the bounty in this van. So first, we went to the Life Invader office. Then we had to hack the keypad to get in. Then we had to eliminate these guards. Then after we did that, it wanted us to find the servers, so we had to hack into this room. Spoiler alert, it wasn't there. So after alerting the guards and killing more officers, we actually found it. So now we're going to hack into the servers so we can find Omar. Now that we successfully found his location, it wanted us to go to the LS car meet. Then we went onto the track where he was at, and he kept on running me over. But finally, my buddy got him cornered, so I got into the car and backed up into him. And then he runs away like he was never cornered. Makes plenty of sense. Now we have to chase him down outside of the LS car meet. Now if you got this mission, make sure you don't shoot the vehicle or it will blow up, and then you'll fail the mission. After we damaged his vehicle enough, he got out. Now all you have to do is tase him. Then you handcuff him and place him in the back of the van. So after all that time, how much money do we get? Hold on, where's our money at? So after placing him in the jail cell, I come to find out that you have to wait until you get paid. So it turns out that these agents actually determine how long you have to wait. And you can also hire them to do work too, so that's exactly what I did. For this next lower paying bounty, we had to go to the Felisa Bank and take out the bank robbers. Then I went inside and killed more of them. And our bounty was in the very back of the room. Now make sure you taste them, do not kill them. This one was way quicker than the last one, but it also pays way less. That one was pretty straightforward. Now depending on how many agents you get is how long you have to wait, so I'm going to put that on screen right now. So in conclusion, this really is bottom dollar. I think Rockstar needs to up the pay or let us do the big bounty more than once a day. But in conclusion, do not waste your money on this business.